My name is Jim Henkel, and uh, my position at Kensington is I lead the men's ministry at the Clinton Township campus. I always wanted to do something related to providing an opportunity for men to um, have an environment, have a safe environment where they could gather together. Um, I know that men, typically the way the world has wired men, is that they um, they just handle everything on their own. Men, can, men don't need help. Men don't need other men in their life uh, in, in order to uh, keep moving forward. My name is Andre Hood and I'm at Kizzeton K-Man Table 10. One example of something that changed in my mind, it would be the perception that I have, the, I have it the hardest. You know, my life is the worst out of anybody else's. You know, it's men that's two times my age dealing with the same hurts and um, thinking that life is better to go on by ourselves and it's not true. You know, these men, you know, don't want you to go the wrong way, you know. They're letting you know, learn from my mistakes, you know. Bill Watts, Table 8. Well, I think it's, it's um, strengthened my, how do I say this, bond with the group. When you first get in the small groups at Kensington's Men, it's a little intimidating and you don't really feel comfortable because you don't know who's at the table and you don't know the people. And as you kind of evolve in the group over a period of time, you feel more and more comfortable with the people and you start to listen and it's at that point you start to feel like you can volunteer some of what you have to give to the group. And uh, it kind of gives you a sense of being able to trust what you're saying with the people around you. Uh, and it, you can open up a lot more with some of the things that you probably have hidden deep down inside for long periods of time and, and not feel bad at letting it out. Hi, my name's Chris Smith and I'm at Table 3. You find there's things down your heart that, that are eating on the inside, and I mean daily things, and, and to be able to say those things, some of them are, you can be embarrassed or whatever, but it's such a, it's a safe area of men that you know they're going through the same struggles you might have been going through. They've experienced the same things you have possibly. And uh, to be able to just open up and, and, and talk to somebody and, and feel, you know, there's gonna be no judgment, there's gonna be support, there's gonna be love. I mean, it's just a, it's a, it's a great experience to know that you have somewhere to do that with that you might not be able to do on the outside, you know, or, or to, to females or something along those lines. You know, there's things that, that are unique to men. Mike Locke, I'm at table eight. Yeah, just seeing how this community, and we've got, um, what, over 100 guys every week showing up, and, and we have, at my table, we had a guy who, he was going through something really, really difficult. Every single guy around that table was calling him and sending him text messages and just reaching out and just surrounding a guy who's going through you don't always know what's going on in, in the people in your, around you in your life. And to see that community come together and just support them and lift them up and say, hey, how are you doing? How are you, how are you feeling? Are you having a good day? And thinking about you, that's a type of community thing that you just don't see everywhere else.